Hello, Dan Sheridan here, Commissioner for the Collegiate Water Polo Association. We've been talking over the last couple of weeks about the lack of competitive equity within our divisions. And we can see this through forfeits occurring in about one out of every 10 games. In addition, 66% of the teams are never in the championship game in their division. And also two thirds of all the games are won by at least five goals. That's not a situation that we want to see happening within our competition. Now this is caused by each division having a couple of teams that kind of dominate the top. Uh, this is due to the coaching, large enrollment, and high school programs within the state. Most of our club teams don't have some of those resources and so you see this huge disparity. Now this results in two thirds of the games being decided before the whistle is even blown. It also results in novice players feeling uh, frustrated and not able to play at a competitive level and so the teams kind of disband before the end of the season. It also means experienced clubs are playing novice teams and feeling like oftentimes it's a waste of time trying to figure out how not to score. And we've added uh, on a regular basis about seven new teams each year, but because of this disparity, we lose almost all those teams every season. So our goal in this is to find a situation where athletes feel like the games matter, where they want a chance to compete against teams against a similar competition, and they want an opportunity to go to the postseason. Now we can fix this problem. If we can, more athletes are gonna enjoy their experience, more clubs are going to join the CWPA, which will mean shorter drives for you, lower fees, and what we all want is the games are gonna be much more exciting. The solution, obviously, then is to create a competitive schedule that increases parity without increasing the cost. How are we gonna do that? We have to increase the number of games where teams play other teams of similar ability. Now one option, we'll call it option A, is where we take two divisions that are geographically close to each other and we merge them. And what do we mean by merging is during the regular season, these divisions would play within their division uh, to accomplish a one loss record. And then before they go to the championship, we would take the top half of one division and merge them with the top half of a neighboring division. And those teams would play for a championship and we take the bottom half of each of those divisions and do likewise. And the advantage there is that teams are gonna end their season playing equitable competition. And so it just reduces the number of blowouts that you're going to see. Now, in addition to this, we're gonna give those teams in the lower half of those divisions a postseason opportunity. We're gonna call it the National Invitational. This is gonna be a new event, and basically it will mean the winners of those B Division Championships are going to be in a situation where they can now go to a postseason event and have the excitement of playing for a national championship. And you ask, well, what will happen with the Division Three championship? Nothing. The only difference will we'll probably open up the Division Three championship to institutions on the Division One and Two level that have roster sizes of below 3,000 um, students. Now, for national qualification to get to each of these tournaments, once we merge the two divisions together, we're going to take the top two out of those merged divisions. And then in the second part of that, uh, for the B, uh, kind of the, the bottom half division, we're gonna take the top two out of those as well. And the advantage will be that each of those divisions will now be competing at a national championship with similar teams of ability. Now, how are the division pairs gonna work out? Well, you can probably figure that out yourself just by looking at the map. Uh, for example, we'll take something like the New York and New England divisions where it's still a reasonable drive to get to your championship. One of the other things that we're going to do within this context is that championship will rotate between the two divisions on alternating years. That means that if you're in a division, you're really only gonna to have to travel outside of your division every other year. That will avoid a lot of extra cost and keep this reasonable from an expense standpoint. Uh, now we will provide a competitive option for teams that are geographically too distant from a neighboring division to make this work. And the way we're gonna handle that is we're gonna to try to get the teams within those divisions to play only um, like teams. So for example, we'll have a division with, uh, we'll split the top half of the teams and they'll play round robin more often and the bottom half of the teams will do likewise. And in those instances, those teams will qualify directly from their division. Uh, now, one last kind of little wrinkle that we're gonna to add to this, we're gonna eliminate A teams and B teams playing each other. I mean, it, it really is kind of silly when you think about it, 
that an A team and a B team that practice together every day are going to use a league contest to play just so that they can um, indicate that the game goes down to the forfeit. So we're going to eliminate those teams and that'll mean those institutions will, their teams, their respective teams will play other teams within the division instead. And lastly, we're going to make sure that all these teams get awarded appropriately. So when teams go to the National Invitational, that bottom half bracket, they'll receive awards for qualifying to the national championship, just like their counterparts in the top half of the bracket. We hope these changes are going to make a huge difference for you. And we're going to be putting this out in material that will come to you shortly. We're also going to have some Zoom calls this week. We'd like to make sure that you take some time to participate on those because we'd like to hear your input. We're certainly here to answer any questions. But we think this is going to be the biggest change that we've had kind of in our competitive structure to make your experience more enjoyable. So we're hoping that you'll get on board with it. And we look forward to talking with you further. Thanks very much for the time. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact the League Office 